New York City, the Big Apple, home of state-approved nature and massive bronze testicles. With Putin throwing around the N-word that we're all allowed to say, the city's emergency management department decided to take the baton of terror and bring us a nuclear preparedness PSA. It starts with scenes straight out of a Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 2. The destroyed building and piles of rubble make me think this is the aftermath of the explosion, but if that's true, then why is every other building fine? Is it a middle finger to Russia, saying they have some weak-ass nukes? Or is New York doing some self-reflection by saying that even before the bomb goes off, they have piles of concrete and rusty metal in their streets? Maybe this woman getting out of an unmarked transit van has some answers. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why, just know that the big one has hit. Okay, I guess we're not getting answers. That's the worst thing you could do after a disaster. Try to get to the bottom of it. There are three important steps that I want you to remember. Step one, get inside fast. And no, staying in the car is not an option. Lady, I was conceived in the back of an 87 Aerostar. I was born in the back of an 87 Aerostar. And I'll be damned if I don't die in the back of an 87 Aerostar. So you can take your little PSA and get on out of here. Step two, stay inside. Shut all doors and windows. Have a basement, head there. Got it, head in the basement. Weird time to talk business, but I was thinking general nudity and refreshments on the first floor and anal in the attic, assuming it's still there. I like that emergency management is using step two to just blatantly spell out how stupid they think their citizens are. If you manage to piece together the first step and somehow stagger inside a building, you'll be able to accomplish step two whether you're immobilized or you walk through the door and immediately drop dead. I do think it's interesting that step one tells you to move away from windows while step two tells you to shut your doors and windows. Either New York is trying a daring new method of population control, or they're still waiting for a letter from an owl and want us all screaming Wingardium Leviosa at a bay window and a set of French doors. If you were outside after the blast, get clean immediately. Put the needle down. We're minutes from death. You really want God to see your table impression? Come on, let's get you some help. This is gonna be great. They're gonna get you clean and... Wait a minute. Oh, she meant like with a shower and soap? So I can't just drop you off, pat myself on the back and forget about you? In that case, Get the hell out of my wagon, you dirty, irradiated bastard! Step three, stay tuned. Follow media for more information. Don't forget to sign up for Notify NYC for official alerts and updates. I love the confidence. Someone's just unleashed the power of the sun and Notify NYC is still sending updates. It's almost like they put this video out just to brag about their defenses. I never thought I'd be flexed on by an alert system, but maybe that's their end game. Survive a nuclear attack, create a captive audience, and live the post-apocalyptic influencer lifestyle. All right, that's all I've got. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. You just been driving me, driving me crazy. You've been driving me crazy, driving me, driving me crazy. You've been driving me crazy, driving me, driving me crazy.